Hi guys, I'm Neil. I'm going to show you a little introduction into some bending tips today. Um, I'm doing this on my 62 uh, Strat here, which is strung up with uh, 12 gauge strings that I always use. Um, the reason I'm saying that is that you probably wouldn't be able to bend the sort of bends I'm going to show you now if you didn't use the right technique. And if you did pull them off, you'd probably just rip your fingernails off in the end give yourself tendonitis which is really horrible um, and end up with a pretty naff sounding note so technique for bending is absolutely everything I can't stress it enough um, that you really want to make sure you're using your hand correctly um, I've set the picture in picture video so that you can see my wrist because when I bend I hinge my wrist around and it really makes a big big difference if you try to bend a note by doing this all that's going to happen is your fingers are going to slip off the strings, you're going to rip your fingernails off, all this pressure is on the tendons here and it's just not going to be a nice result. If we bend properly we can get really nice, controlled, really easy on the finger bends that I can hold. And we can, uh, we can control the note really nicely. So the first thing is we're going to concentrate on third finger bends right now. You can bend with any finger you like, and I fully recommend practicing it, but this short video is just about third finger bends. The way I achieve this uh, to, to get a really nice bend is first of all, I try and follow a, a few simple rules that obviously I do naturally now, but when I started figuring out things, these really helped me. The first thing is to have my fingers pointing at my right shoulder, so the angle they're at right now is my right shoulder. When I finish the bend, no matter whether it's a semitone, a half tone, a, a one and a half tones, whatever, Broadly, my finger is going to be pointed at my right shoulder because I'll have rotated. Okay, so for instance, here I'm going to bend this note, this F sharp, just up to this G. You notice they're pointing at my right shoulder. Now they're pointing at my left shoulder, and I can hold that bend and then let it back down, and they're pointing back. So that's the first point, and I'm achieving that by having this angle on my hand there, okay? So the next point is that my thumb is resting on the top of the neck. Now, I've got relatively big hands, so that helps with this, but most people can get their thumb up here. And the reason I think this is important is that as I come round, I'm gonna twist my thumb over, so it's a point of contact on the neck, which gives me strength, it's a pivot point. And at the same time, just here, on the edge of my index finger, is another point of contact, and it's gonna roll around. So I'm going to start there and roll them around. You can see my wrist goes up like this at the back. You can see in the picture in picture there. So my, my watch will dangle down, essentially, as I've got the bend. I'm not doing that, because then I've got no power. It's, it's a lift of the forearm, the twist and the wrist. It's quite hard to describe it, but you'll know when you get it, because it's this hinging motion around. So that's rule number two. Rule number three for me is just to get your fingers very slightly under the string. Not when I say under, I don't mean obviously under like this. Below the string would perhaps be a better, better term. So I'm kind of snow playing the strings upwards. That gives me better purchase on them. The last rule is when I'm using my third finger for a bend, have the index and the middle fingers on as well. They're there to help you. If you have one finger on, you've not got as much strength. It's fairly obvious when you think about it. So have them all on. So here, I'm going to do a very simple set of bends using the A minor pentatonic scale. It's a really simple practice idea. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start from this fifth fret here, so on this E, and I'm going to bend up now to the eighth fret here. So, so a big old bend, and you can see my fingers are pointing at the left, left shoulder now. Now, hopefully you can also notice that I've done it really, really slowly. So what I'm doing is I'm building strength in my hand and I'm controlling the note. Then I'm going to let it down. Now, I don't recommend doing this for someone who's just starting bends. If you're just starting a bend, you've never done it before, just play one fret semitone. So just like that, so E to F. This is for somebody who's been bending a long time, just wants more control. So I've gone. Then I'm going to let it down. Then I'm going to move on 
to that note that I bend to, so in this case, <coughs> excuse me, the G. So the next note in my series now is the A here. Well, that's also just there, so I'm going to bend the whole tone. Pointed on my left shoulder again. You can see in the, in the other picture, my wrist has gone up. And I can let it down. Just notice, as I come down, my index finger pops off the string. I basically release the pressure on it, and it then mops up any unwanted noise. A lot of people come to me and say, how can I bend? And when I release, I get all this noise. So, you can see it's kind of folded over, and that just helps to mop it up. It's just dampening. So, from there, we've got bend one. Bend two. And I'm just going to carry on the series now, so I should really finish on an A, be an A minor pentatonic, but the next note in the series would be this C. So I'm now going to bend from my A to my C. So I've got... If I use that technique, because of the first big bend and then a sort of a, a fairly big bend, I suppose, with a whole tone and then another tone and a half, but use that right technique, I should be able to get a beautiful fluid motion. It takes some time. Remember to keep your thumb up the top here, keep your first finger on, rotate round, use all your fingers and just get them slightly below the string so you snow plow upwards. You get some really cool effects. Try it. If you get pain in your wrist, my advice would be go see a doctor. Have fun with your bends.